We are setting up an oceanic bow cube for salt water. And just a word on water parameters. We have um, added live rinse sand, live rock, and RODI synthetic salted water to the tank. And now we want to monitor and make sure the water parameters are in order. So at this point, you can, uh, we're just going to look at the basic parameters. So uh, number one is your temperature, which is right here. This is just a simple uh, strip thermometer, very inexpensive. And uh, ideally, you want your temperature to be about 77 degrees right here. It's hard to tell from the light, but it's actually around here, which is okay. Then we want to look at our ammonia. We want to see that it's spiking because we just filled up our tank and uh, it might be who knows how long that will take. But the ammonia has to build up and a bacteria in the water has to build up so it can break down the ammonia. So what we did instead of a test kit where you can measure your ammonia, your nitrates and your nitrites, uh, we have just added this simple ammonia alert from CCAM and it will just let us know when the ammonia will start to spike in your tank and then you know it's well on its way to cycle. So this is just an indicator um, in the middle there's a color it tells you where you are as far as your ammonia. Right now we're safe the color matches up there you have different colors you have uh, a blue is toxic the light blue is alarm and the green is alert. This is something you might want to use uh, just when you're beginning to cycle your tank, you can watch it, and it'll save you a lot of water tests. So the next thing that we're looking at is your salinity, or the amount of salt that's in your water. If you look up here, this device here that I put inside the tank, this is called a hydrometer. Now, the, they tend not to be super accurate, but... Um, we had the water mixed at 1.03. So as you can see, it's kind of indicating that. Ideally, you want it to be 31, the salinity. This side is the salinity. So ideally, you want it right here. And you want the gravity, which is the other measurement on the other side, to be 1.023. So you want the gravity to be here. So. 31 salinity or 1.023 is the gravity towards the lower end of this little scale here. So as you can see, the actual indicator is way up. It's past 38. It's around 1.03. So there's a lot of salt in here and we want to reduce the amount of salt in our tank. So how do we do that? Well, what happens in a tank as your water goes through your tank, a lot of it gets evaporated, and but your salt actually stays in your tank. So over time, if you just let your tank sit and you don't top it off, you will get more salt level in your tank. So the way to reduce your salinity, or when you have to top off your evaporated water, you just want to use fresh RODI water. You don't want to add RODI synthetic water. You just want to add fresh reverse osmosis deionized water. So we're going to do that to reduce the, uh, the gravity because we've got it too high. We've got too high of a salt here. So we're going to add some fresh RODI water to get the salt level down a bit in the tank. And uh, this is setting up a biocube for salt water. So we're looking at the parameters and we want to get them set so they're ideal for raising corals and fish.